I'm Katie Kreins, and what I love most is to do what the locals do. Shop where they shop, eat where they eat, and especially have fun. My adventure starts here in Pasadena, California. I'll show you not only Pasadena's hot spots, but also some great places only the locals know about. And I'm here to bring those treasures to you. Welcome to Locals Only, Pasadena. Pasadena isn't just known for its history, art, and culture, but it also houses Southern California's oldest independent bookstore, Romans. And it's right here on Colorado Boulevard. Imagine this. A young man from Illinois traveled west in hopes that sunny California weather would improve his wife's health. Unfortunately, she passed away. And two months later, Adam Clark Roman took his love of books and opened up a store with a modest selection. That was over a hundred years ago. Today, Romans carries over 85,000 titles and is a staple for generations of families in Pasadena. So I'm here with Allison Hill, president of Roman Bookstore. Allison, it's nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Um, now, besides the great selection of books you have here at Romans, I've noticed that you have a lot of unique items for sale. Yes, that's one of the things I think that makes Romans really fabulous is our great gift selection. They have a whole lot more than books. You'll definitely find something for a friend, or better yet, yourself. One of my favorite sections of the store is our handmade gallery, and we search all over for uh, artists who we think are doing great work. I think one of the things that's great about being independent is that we can go anywhere and find anything and bring it in and we don't have to go through a lot of bureaucracy or red tape. So when we fall in love with something, that's when we bring it to the store. In some ways, it's as simple as that. So Romans doesn't just help its local community, it also reaches out and helps internationally as well, correct? That's right. We think of ourselves as a socially responsible business and we try to bring that perspective to some of the things that we buy. This jewelry comes from Uganda. It's made from recycled paper and helps women of Uganda with jobs and their livelihood. Wow, so it's sort of a mutual win-win situation for you, for Romans and the women of Uganda. Exactly, and we like to think for our customers too. And then in a completely different vein, we have Beth Quinn Designs. Uh, this is a local artist who does pieces, and what attracted us to these pieces was that she has little quotes in the jewelry. They have the writing, they have kind of a story to them, and it goes back to us being a bookstore and us wanting to have things that kind of make sense to what we're doing overall. Absolutely. And really supports that. If you love Pasadena, then you have to check this out. This is the Pasadena Pride section, where you can find anything from greeting cards with Pasadena landmarks, mugs, Pasadena mints, books, and more. And of course, Roman's gear. And we do all kinds of neat things here, and it goes back to what we were talking about, about supporting local artists. Right. So we have all kinds of unique gift items in this section, like puzzles, for instance. And we sit in these meetings and brainstorm which landmark's going to win the, the honor of being on our puzzle this year. Wait, so that must be a big discussion then. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. It looks good on you. Uh, this is Twirly Girl. These are fabulous. This is a local woman. She lives in Glendale. And she goes down to the fashion district in Los Angeles. And she finds this wonderful fabric and makes these great outfits. It's inspired by her daughters. So like this one that you love, see how it has little straps? You can strap it on and create your fairy wings. <laughs> what little girl doesn't want a fairy wing? I know, it's great. And a lot of them are reversible. So this, you have your fabulous pink, and then you reverse it, and you have your fabulous blue. Oh, here we go. 
hot date time. This is it. This is the one. This is what I would wear. Just with some leggings. Like, done. Done. See ya. Gather round, kids. It's story time at Vroman's. Every book is a different adventure. Every week, a different story. Grab your friends, grab your family, grab everyone you know, and head to Vroman's for story time. come in here and sign books. Yes, we do over 400 events a year. 400 events per year is a lot of authors. Lots of famous people have walked through these doors, and Allison has an interesting story about President Clinton. As is fairly well known, he's very well read, and every book he touched, he would tell me something about and ask me if I'd read it, and I'd say, yes, Mr. President, or no, Mr. President. <laughs> and we wandered around for quite a while, and he bought a whole pile of books, and at the end, he turned to me and said, I hope we see each other again really soon. No, <laughs> he didn't. He did. So that was kind of a highlight of my book selling career, I would say. Well, Allison, I have one more request of you. I would like you to sign my <laughs> Romans book, if you would, please, uh -huh. at the same place where all the other famous authors have signed books. I would be delighted, Katie. Yes. Allison, thank you so much for taking me on a tour of your fabulous bookstore. I now feel like I'm kind of part of the history and the family here at Romans. Oh, I'm so glad. We totally enjoyed your visit, Katie. Well, thank you. And to those of you who think that bookstores are a snooze, think again. They have a new event almost every day, and they're constantly giving back to the community. If you haven't been to Romans yet, now is the time. And coming up, I'm going to show you where the locals of Pasadena go for their jazz fix. It's a little hidden gem called Noor. And later, I'm heading over to a place called Pie and Burger that's been around since 1963 for a slice of homemade pie and an amazing burger. I'm looking for all the favorites of the locals here in Pasadena. We're going to Pie and Burger. That's right, they serve exactly that. Homemade pies and delicious burgers grilled to perfection. But before we eat, we're going to enjoy an evening on the town at Noor. I'm one block from Old Pasadena at the Paseo Colorado at Noor. Now most people know Noor for its amazing event space, but I'm here to try some signature drinks and enjoy some live entertainment. Since 2010, Noor has been a premier event space in Pasadena. But on Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays, Noor's Jazz Night is one of Pasadena's hottest spots. Noor is famous for their signature drinks made by their own mixologist. Drinks like Alexander the Great made with fresh fruit juice and the unbelievable Nortini. Perfect. You have a dirty sombrero. Now tell me how it is. It's actually really fantastic. It's not too sweet. It's my favorite. You want to try it? I do. Same. Oh, that's great. It's really yummy. That's a great mix of flavors. I love it. is Alexander the Grape. Oh, that's good. A drink that definitely lives up to its name. It's just one of the many popular drinks at Noor. What I really like about this drink is the grape flavor. It's not an overly sweet flavor and the alcohol balances out just right. To make this Noor classic, we start with fresh grapes muddled to extract all the juice. Next, we add two generous ounces of Finlandia vodka half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And for sweetness, something a little different, blue agave nectar that comes from the heart of a tequila plant. Last, we add some ice, give it a little shake, top it off with some club soda, and finally add a grape garnish. If you want to impress your friends or James Bond, the Nortini is for you. Shaken lightly, not stirred. So most of the girls go for the Nortini. We start with a little bit of ice thrown into the shaker. Next, Steve adds the pearl pomegranate vodka. 
We're gonna use one ounce of pomegranate juice. Steve then pours in the champagne. Adds a little Chateau Pommery. This gives it the sweetness to it, and then the champagne kind of cuts it a little bit, so it makes it, uh, evens it out a little bit. Sure. And lastly, a squeeze of half a lime to add an extra zing. Mmm. I can't wait. You don't want to shake it too hard because right. you have the champagne and you don't want all the, you know, bubbles to go away. Perfect. Perfect. I'm here with the general manager, Robert Shanazarian Jr. Robert, thanks so much for having us here today. Katie, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming. What separates Mixology drinks from any other mixed drink is there's no syrups in there. It's all fresh fruit based and there's a little bit of uh, science in there to figure out what goes well together and what portionings. Uh, and it's kind of a throwback to pre-prohibition where they would make everything fresh. Because afterwards they started, because fruits were in short supply, they started using syrups and that's how that all came about in the, in the beverages. But what is one of the most intriguing or one of the most unique drinks here in North? I'd say it'd be the pineapple jalapeno martini. Such an odd combination. You would never expect these two flavors to go together, but the mixologists at Noor knew what they were doing because this is a match made in heaven. First, Steve gets all his ingredients ready. He cuts the fresh pineapple. He slices the jalapenos about three quarters inch wide. The closer up you get to the stem, the hotter it gets. Next, the pineapple and jalapeno get thrown into the shaker. Muddle it up, that should be a t-shirt slogan. Add a little ice, a generous two ounces of gin, three quarters of an ounce lemon juice, which is about a whole lemon. Everything in here smells so fresh. Add a mixture of sugar and water. Give it a good shake. The Jalapeno Pineapple Martini. Mm -mm. Here we go. Get your saddles on, boys. Oh, wow. That's really good. I have to agree, this is one of the best drinks I think I've ever had. The combination of flavors between the jalapeno and the fresh lemon yeah. is just perfect. It's perfectly awesome. balanced. That's and really good. it's not good. too spicy at all. Not too it. spicy. Right. I thought it was. I was a little nervous about going in, but this is great. This is really great. Enjoy. Nice job. Thank Give you. Give me a high, high awesome. five up top. I like it. Let me take one more sip. Every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night, jazz bands from all over Southern California perform right here at NOR. Out from your usual routine and check out what Noor has to offer. Happy hour, good times, and great music. It's a laid-back atmosphere where you can dance if you want to or sit back for some great conversation. And with different bands playing each week, it'll keep any jazz cat happy. The perfect drink, great friends. That's all a girl needs. Cheers! Cheers. And coming up, I'm heading over to Pie and Burger, a little diner that serves up the freshest homemade pies and the best burger I've ever had. It's 4 a.m. and I'm here somewhat bright-eyed and very early to learn what makes their famous pies so delicious. So I'm here with Tenovio, Pie and Burger's one and only baker who bakes all the pies every single morning.
So every time Synovio makes these apple pies, he uses over 28 pounds of apples. Every single one of these pies has over two pounds of delicious green apples in them. Baked or not, I want that. So one of the unique things about Pie and Burger is that they actually bake their pies in a pizza oven. They put the pies right on the bottom of the oven so that the crusts get nice and crisp. That's the secret to some of their best pies. While the pies bake, I head to the front to talk to Michael Osborne. Michael is the current owner of Pie and Burger. He has a long history here. He started out as a cook at Pie and Burger when he was only 19 years old. All the recipes are about 75 or 80 years old, and you know the, the pie recipes, they all go back to uh, a time about 30 years before Pie and Burger, where uh, the couple that started it uh, helped develop these recipes in conjunction with another restaurant. And then when Pie and Burger started, they brought those recipes here. So everything is about, like I said, 75 or 80 years old. It's all made by hand, uh, all done some way, you know, maybe your grandmother or your grandmother's grandmother <laughs> might have done a long, long time ago. All the pies are made by hand with the freshest ingredients. Michael has a slice of the beautiful strawberry pie, but I can't wait to try my Dutch apple pie. Should we go ahead and yes, have a bite? Have a try. Oh my God. Oh my God. The brown sugar shrink sprinkled right on top, just absolutely delicious. I was going to come here for anything else besides the burgers, it would be the apple pies. But then you'd be um, robbing yourself of maybe the other 19 kinds of fries. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right, 19 different pies on the menu. For some, that sounds like a lot, but to me, that sounds just like heaven. We have the Dutch apple, yeah. then we have a regular apple, okay. we have a boysenberry, mm -hmm. a blueberry, cooked peach, custard, rhubarb, pond, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. We make a minced meat, which is seasonal for the winter time. And then in cream pies, we make uh, banana, coconut, lemon, chocolate, peanut butter, and butterscotch. We make fresh strawberry, and then we make a fresh alala berry and peach in season. And then we make uh, five cakes. We make a cheesecake, a chocolate cake, a carrot cake, <laughs> and a strawberry cake, and a coconut cake. Is that all? So, is that it? That's all we've come up with so far. So. <laughs> That apple pie was unbelievable. It almost made me forget that there's another delicious treat on the menu, a mouth-watering burger. So Michael's showing me around the kitchen. We're gonna talk a little bit about how the burgers are made. Uh, first of all, we use prime beef, which we have ground for us every other day. If you know anything about hamburger patties, you know that this is the cream of the crop. Each patty comes from a grade A stock of freshly ground 100% beef. The patties are handmade every morning to ensure their freshness and great taste. And watching them make these patties is just as much fun as eating them. The Thousand Island dressing, again, is one of our recipes that goes back 75 or 80 years. Uh, again, one of those things that I inherited that I decided that it was so good that we weren't going to change. One other aspect that we do is we use an extra thick cut pickle on the burger so it gives it a little bit of that dill flavor and not such a thin chip. So again, trying to get all those flavors to come together to make uh, what I consider to be a classic, really good tasting burger. Pie and Burgers Grill sits right in the middle of the restaurant so you can watch your burger creation being made. The smell is just heavenly. Simple ingredients mixed with old time tradition gives these burgers their scrumptious flavor. A fresh patty, lightly grilled buns, a slather of secret Thousand Island sauce, crisp lettuce, extra thick sliced dill pickles with your choice of cheese, all wrapped up and ready to devour. Just awesome. And here it is. I'm so excited to try the famous pie and burger hamburger. That is what I want my hamburger to look like. Let's try it. Let's see what. I'm excited myself. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's already juicy and drippy. So the trick is don't take it out of the paper. Okay. Peel the paper off as we go around. Okay. And it keeps all the juice right inside. All right. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Very, very good. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am. It's 
so tasty. Everything, all those fresh ingredients really make a difference. This is what makes this burger so wonderful. Well, thank you, Michael, for sharing pie and burger with us today. It really was such a treat. It was a treat to have you here and becoming part of the pie and burger family. We welcome you back anytime you'd like to be here. Yes. <laughs> and if you haven't been to pie and burger yet, it is definitely worth the wait because you'll get some of the best pies and burgers around. And I can guarantee you this place is awesome. Today we visited Roman's bookstore full of not just books but all kinds of shopping possibilities. Just walking into the store, the first things you'll see are an array of unique, hilarious, and beautiful gift items. But what about the kids? You may need to check Roman's schedule, but when Mr. Steve's on stage, all the kids gather around to listen to Mr. Steve's story time. And I could never forget Twirly Girl. I kind of wish they made these in my size. The book signings are really what have made Romans famous. I mean, having over 400 events a year just might do that. You never know who you'll see at Romans. You might bump into your favorite author, musician, or even a president. As is fairly well known, he's very well read, and in every book he touched, he would tell me something about and ask me if I'd read it, and I'd say, yes, Mr. President, it's or Mr. no, President. Mr. President. <laughs> and we wandered around for quite a while, and he bought a whole pile of books, and at the end, he turned to me and said, I hope we see each other again really soon. <laughs> he didn't. He did. So that was kind of a highlight of my book going through. One of the great things I've learned about Romans is that they are a strong supporter in the community here in Pasadena. Not only do they give to a bunch of charities, but they have a Romans Gives Back program where a portion of your purchase goes to the charity of your choice. Currently, they've donated over $500,000 to Pasadena area organizations. I think that's pretty cool. I could literally spend hours in Romans. The store is humongous. It has two floors a huge book selection, and so many gift items I never even knew existed. If you need to catch up on your reading or do a little, or even a lot, of shopping, you need to check out Romans on Colorado Boulevard. Door is famous for their signature drinks made by their own mixologist. Drinks like Alexander the Grape made with fresh fruit juice and the unbelievable Nortini. Perfect. An interesting little fact about the drinks at Noor is that everything is made fresh. All the juice used in the drinks are fresh squeezed right when you order them. There are no syrups. That's what really gives their drinks such an amazing flavor. What separates mythology drinks from any other mixed drink is there's no syrups in there. It's all fresh fruit based and there's a little bit of uh, science in there to figure out what goes well together and what portioning. Uh, and it's kind of a throwback to pre-prohibition era where they would make everything fresh. But afterwards they started because fruits were in short supply and they started using syrups and that's how that all came about in the beverage world. North has a variety of deliciously yummy drinks on their menu, like the Dirty Sombrero, and a surprising drink, the awesome Pineapple Jalapeno Martini. It had this flavor of the sweet pineapple juice cut with a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. The combination of flavors between the jalapeno and the fresh lemon yeah. is just perfect. It's perfectly awesome. balanced. That's and really good. It's not good. too spicy at all. Not too you. spicy. Great. I thought it was. I was a little nervous about going in, but this is great. This is really great. Enjoy. Nice job. Thank you. Yes. High awesome. five up top. And I can't leave out the Alexander the Great. The flavor of the drink was so different from what I expected. It was very refreshing with a light grape taste. That's good. What I really like about this drink is the grape flavor. It's not an overly sweet flavor and the alcohol balances out just right. But the drink that took me by surprise was the Nortini. This was absolutely the best martini I've ever tasted. I had such a blast at Noor that night. Between the music and the drinks, how can you go wrong? Ladies, if you're thinking about what to do tonight, plan on dropping in on Noor. They bring in different jazz groups to perform all the time. So come to listen, dance, and just have some fun. 
and definitely, definitely order the newer teeny. To check newer out, you can find them in the Paseo, Colorado, right off of Colorado Boulevard. Feel like an amazing burger and a fresh homemade slice of pie? Then Pie and Burger is where you need to go. With fresh pies baked every morning by Pie and Burger's master baker, you can't go wrong. To this day, Pie and Burger stays true to the 75-year-old recipes created specifically for them in the 1930s. And with 19 different kinds of pie on the menu, you could practically try a new pie almost every day of the week. We have the Dutch apple, yeah. then we have a regular apple, okay. we have a boysenberry, mm -hmm. a blueberry, cooked peach, custard, rhubarb, pond, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. We make a mincemeat, which is seasonal for the winter time. And then in cream pies, we make uh, banana, coconut, lemon, chocolate, peanut butter, and butterscotch. We make fresh strawberry, and then we make a fresh lala berry and peach in season. And then we make uh, five cakes. We make a cheesecake, a chocolate cake, a carrot cake, and a strawberry cake. And a coconut cake. Is that all? So, Is that it? That's all we've come up with so far. So. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Dutch apple pie. Gosh. Mmm. The brown sugar strings sprinkled right on top, just absolutely delicious. Everything is made fresh right here at Pie and Burger. Between making their own patties and the secret sauce. I really can't say anything more about this burger, other than... And here it is. I'm so excited to try the famous pie and burger hamburger. That is what I want my hamburger to look like. Let's try it. Let's see what... I'm excited myself. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's already juicy. It's drippy. So the trick is, don't take it out of the paper. Oh. Peel the paper off as we go around. Keeps all the juice right inside. All right. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. It's very, very good. Glad you're <laughs> very, I am. It's so tasty. Everything, all those fresh ingredients really make a difference. This is what makes this burger so wonderful. Pie and Burger may need to change their name to Awesome Pie and Burger. To head over and grab a bite, you can find Pie and Burger on California and Lake Avenue. Next time on Locals Only, Pasadena. I'm going to head out to do some shopping at Majestical Roof and visit their alternative art market. Try some exquisite mussels and Belgian beer at Quadruple Brasserie. And get spun around on the dance floor by the Rose City Ballroom. I can't wait! To get more information on any of the local places I visited, check me out on LocalsOnlyTV.com and make sure to tune in for our next show.